What's up everybody, it's Onglore. It's that time of week again for the Diablo 3 Challenge Rift. This time it is number 163, featuring the Necromancer. So, let's see what we are working with this week. First off, we have Simulacrum, Devour, Command Skeletons, Command Golem, Siphon Blood, and Bone Spear. So, this build is pretty straightforward this week. When you walk in the rift, you're simply going to pop your simulacrum and then hold down right click your bone spear and that's pretty much it. If you find yourself running low on resources, which you really shouldn't, or essence, you can use your siphon blood. So as you can see here, when we pop our number one, we kind of got a little clone of ourselves going on here. You're just going to walk in, hold down right click, and as you can see, everything is going to melt. So this is the set that people been wanting to try out i think it's pretty fun so let's head inside of the challenge rift and see what happens and just as a disclaimer you know just letting you guys know this is my first time entering the challenge rift so i have absolutely no idea what to expect all right let's do it okay here we are inside of the rift and as soon as i stepped onto this first floor i knew it's going to be a good one because this is one of my favorite floors hands down whenever I needed to pass something really difficult or make something, you know, try to beat my time to keep opening more rifts. This was the floor that always did it for me. Okay, so as you saw, right when I stepped onto the floor, I popped my simulacrum, and honestly, I'm just holding down right click. And as I mentioned before, if you find yourself having any difficulty with your resources, you can just simply pop Siphon Blood, but honestly, you shouldn't even really need to do that and as you saw right out of the gates there was two elite packs which was really nice so let's just keep going and also there was quite a bit of mobs that just threw themselves at us which is really nice also as you saw there i learned very quickly that this build is pretty good and straightforward right but you're exactly not that tanky so just be aware of your surroundings and you should be good okay i want to head up here really fast just to see if they're is an elite pack hiding because you know how they can be sometimes okay so there was nothing up there let's head down this way and see what's going on excellent that is our third elite pack which i'm not complaining at all the more the better okay let's see here get rid of all that and that's now that i look back up here there's a lot of mobs that gathered up towards the top left which is kind of nice nice i'm just keeping that in mind because I'm thinking that's a pretty good amount of density right there. That'll definitely help out towards our time. Alright, so we took care of that. And here's a pylon. What type of pylon is it? Channeling? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't really feel useful right here. But you know what? A pylon is a pylon. And we will make fantastic use of it. Okay, so that is another elite pack. So, as you can see here, there is quite a bit going on with this first floor in a good way. There is quite a few elite packs. And now... I think we should be heading to the second floor because this is what that pathway looks like or should be shortly but before we do that there is yet another elite pack okay so like I feel like I'm doing pretty good on my time right here and let's see here I'm not gonna be like trying to push my time too much right here since I really don't know what's going on so I think this is definitely one of those rifts I will come back at a later time to try to do you know just beat my original time okay let's see here let's keep killing all this stuff right here it kind of just feels like things slowed down so i think definitely i would take a different approach this time i would be flying through this part because there is so little going on with these mobs like the first floor it was amazing everything was just popping then right now it's kind of like woof like the after party you're coming down you know what i mean okay let's see here Let's keep going out. Yeah, I would definitely just go through this floor a lot faster until I got down here. Because at least there's a little bit of mob density right here. Now that I'm looking back at the footage. Okay, so here's an elite pack right there. Very nice. Nice way to break our dry spell. Grab all of our lovely orbs to give ourselves more time here. Okay, so let's keep going this way. I want to see what's up this way too, kind of. I hate really having to choose between the fork and the road because I really don't know where to go. And you hope you choose the right way. Alright, let's see here. Get rid of those. 
And I felt like my time was doing so good too. I, don't, I honestly feel like I should be ending the rift right about now. So definitely be trying this again later. And let's go down this way. Oof. Hopefully there's another leap pack shortly to like just end this floor. Oh hey, there we go. Ask and ye shall receive, right? So my dog decided to put in her two cents as well. I don't know if you hear her or not, but she's like, oh hey, I'm here too. Like I know, I know. Okay, so let's see here. Get rid of these guys and we're about to finish time here. So as you can see, this build is pretty straightforward. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. I'm trying to get like an ancient set of this, you know, just from farming. Like in my off-season character. Okay, so we should be finishing this shortly and we should be making really good... We should just be annihilating the Rift Garden, I think, right? When he jumps down. So <laughs> let's find out. All right, guys. I really want to thank you for watching the uh, video this week, and I hope it helped you in some way, shape, or form, and I really hope you guys annihilate my time. So, if this is your first time visiting the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, and then smash that like button. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.